part of the psychiatrist was played by Craig Richard Nelson. Be sure and check your local listings for the best of the Carol Burnett shows later this summer. This is your wacko announcer speaking. This, um, this is an evening of mixed emotions for me. Like graduation, it's a sad and a happy time. It can't be possible that it was 1967 when Harvey, Vicki, Lyle, and I stepped on this stage for the first time because it does seem as if it were only yesterday. <laughs> Those cliches really have a habit of uh, punching you in the nose, don't they? Recently, um, a lot of people have been running around and expressing their own opinions as to why I decided to quit at the end of this season. And I think I should be the one to tell you, seeing as how I'm the one who really knows. In our 11 years, we have had four different time slots, and we've had our share of being up there in the ratings and being down there in the ratings. And ratings do not have a thing to do with my decision. If they did, I would have called a halt to the proceedings a long time ago because there have been many, many times when they've been a lot lower than they've been this season. And now, I do think it's classier to leave before you're asked to. <laughs> and the fact that CBS picked our show up for a 12th year and was quite adamant about it is very flattering to all of us here on the show. However, I am adamant too, and I, I am so proud of our show, and quite simply, I'm no dummy. Now is the time to put it to bed and to go on to other things, because change is growth. It's hard because all of us around here truly did become a second family. We've been through marriages and divorces and deaths and births. And I know the love that we have shared can never be measured by time. Our First director, Clark Jones, our first year, just wonderful. Dave Powers, who's been our director the past 10 years, and he is going on to other things. He's going to, uh, to direct Three's Company next year. I would like to thank uh, our various producers, Arnie Rosen, Bill Angelus, Buzz Cohan, our present producer, Ed Simmons, our executive producer, Joe Hamilton, whom I happen to love very much, our technical crew, our stage hands, the gang upstairs in the office, our entire creative staff are the best anybody could have ever had. I know they know all of the love and admiration I have for each and every one of them. No one 
could feel more grateful than I do tonight for having had the opportunity to work with and learn from the brilliant talent of Harvey Corman, who has no creative limits. And we have all watched Vicki Lawrence blossom and grow from a green kid just out of Inglewood High into one of the finest young character actresses and comedians in the industry. I am so proud. Tim Conway defies description. <laughs> His brain never slows down. Those little wheels are constantly churning out original chunks of genius that amaze us all. I think it is a credit to Tim that some of the giants in comedy today steal from him. Tim would never say that, but I can. And the fact that he is even nicer than he is talented is the best thing you could know about him. So, on behalf of all of us, I want to thank you here tonight and all of you who have been watching us for making these years possible. You brought us together, and we are all so very grateful. I love you. I'm so glad we had this time together Just to have a laugh or sing a song Seems we just get started And before you know it Comes the time we have to say It's so long There's a time you Side dreaming and a time for things you have to do. But the time I like the best is any evening. I can spend a moment here with you when the time comes and I'm feeling lonely. And I'm feeling oh so blue I'll just sit back and think of you only And the happiness still comes through That's why I'm glad we had this time together Cause it makes me feel that I belong Seems we just get started, and before you know it, comes a time we have to say so long. Good night. Thank you.